all right again this what's up so we're going to do a garden update video i know a lot of you've been pming me asking me where it's at i just been really busy and i haven't had a chance to even show you the step by step on how i got to where i'm at i started most of, mostly all the stuff from seeds and then uh as you could see here these are my tomatoes and in the back here like this one here this is an heirloom tomato you can see the difference between the leaves on that and say the leaves on this one that just looks like a regular tomato plant this one here just has different leaves those are our tall vine rows see here's another one here I just gotta get another stake for it but see the difference real big difference in the leaves than say this one so I'm really anxious to see what kind of fruit we get off of those so we got about, oh shit, three, six, <laughs> nine, twelve, fifteen, six, seventeen tomato plants. That's a lot. And then down here we got our cucumbers, which I'm going to throw some more uh, lattice in here so these guys grow up. And right here we got our starting here all the way down is our green beans. This is the squash right here. As you can see, I got that fabric down on everything. It really helps with the weeds. And then I got a soaker hose that runs through. All I do is connect that to my hose. Waters my plants. I just think it's better watering them at the base than it is just spraying the leaps. Because there's so many chemicals in our water that it kind of ganks your plants up some. And I noticed that last year. And what I do also is, here's my uh, snow peas. I just plant three circles of that, and then they grow right up the tomato cage. They do good. Radishes, right there. And then that back row right there is carrots. They'll take a little longer. And then we got all of our peppers here. Pop banana, some um hot red cherry peppers so those are coming along really nice too and right here so that soaker hose saves a lot of aggravation because all i do is i just plug my hose right in to the end of it right here and then it just waters everything up and what i also did is i took some clorox 50 50 and i clean all my cages off with before I put them in there with my plants because if you have any diseases from the year before you want to get all that stuff off of there but everything looks really good and this weed fabric I'm telling you it helps a lot just make sure your hole is really big underneath your plant but the water still goes through the fabric too so real quick just an update we should be getting some uh, veggies soon, that's for sure. It's not very big, but it's good for me. Let's see if I can get the full thing in here. Nice run. A lot of fun. Alright, Yenzers. Later.